every single decision you make in your life, it, its roots comes to what I'm about to reveal to you and to share with you. Now, you're not even aware of it. You don't know you're doing this because no one has ever told you that. Your parents don't know about it. Your teachers don't know about it. Barely anybody tells you this because majority of the humanity has no clue of this. Zero. Very, very little people who have worked on themselves and reached higher levels of consciousness have become aware of this. Rest don't know. And you go to them for help, but they can't help you because they simply don't have a clue. You go to your therapist or some other spiritual teachers, whether they're psychologists, psychotherapists, or spiritual teachers, and they want to help you with your emotional damages. Things happen to you and do therapy, but they don't know the root cause of your deep sense of loneliness. Why you feel so lonely? It's a nagging voice is there all the time. It's in the background. It's very subtle, but it's in the background and sometimes gets strong or stronger and less, but it's always there. Always, 24-7 a day, every day, it's there. And you think, okay, if I make more money, I can create a situation that I can find life partner or I can have a situation that I can have people around me to fill up this empty gap. If I look better, if I'm more attractive, if I lose weight, if I am famous, then people want me and want to be with me, and then I can fill up the gap. The reason I'm telling you these things is because I've gone through it myself. Don't think that I'm just not including myself and I'm sitting here and acting like I'm better than you, or I know I or whatever. It's not. I have gone through these stages very deeply and suffered from it. That's why I know it so well and I can share it with you. And I've discovered it for myself, the root cause of it. So at no point I want you to think that I'm putting you down or I'm having an attitude of being better or whatever. It's not, it's not what it is. But I've just discovered, I have discovered myself. I have conquered myself. And in conquering yourself, it always room for more. But I have gone through these stages. That's why I can clearly explain it to you and tell you what is it you need to do how you can conquer it yourself. The reason you have this deep longing and also this sense of loneliness is because you did come to this world alone by yourself. And you will, you will leave this world alone by yourself. This is an alone path. You have to walk this path on your own. This is your journey to self-realization. Nobody can carry you. 
your guru, your teacher can guide you but cannot put you on his shoulder to carry you. You have to walk this path on your own. And yeah, you found your partner, life partner, and you feel like, okay, we're in this together and we're going to go together. But your life partner cannot carry you either. You are the one who needs to walk this path. So, the sooner you realize this, the better it is, because you come to terms with it, with yourself. No one has reached the peaks of high, highest consciousness by being carried there. You have to walk up there. And let me tell you another thing. So we get this thing clear. And please pay attention to this part. It's very, very important that you understand this part. The higher peaks of consciousness, the more you are going to a, a higher level of consciousness, the more your awareness expands, the lonelier you, you get. Uh, you look at the gurus like Osho, Bhagwan Sri Rajneesh. You look at Muktananda, Nim Karoli Baba, Ramana Maharishi, Papaji. Thousands of devotees from all over the world, they're devoted to them, they love them, they're with them, they follow them. But the master is alone and it's lonely because the more your consciousness evolves, the higher you become evolved, the less people are going to be in your level. The others are not your companions. They're not your peers. They want your light. They want your energy. They want your help. They want to put their head on your shoulder. On your shoulder. They want your help. Because they're not in your level. And the more you become aware, the more you're hiking the peaks of consciousness, less people are willing to walk the peaks. It's like at the base of Himalaya, if you want to go hike Mount Everest to get to the peaks of Mount Everest and at the base camp, there's thousands of people at the base camp. They got hospital, they got shops to sell equipments for hiking, there's instruction schools for hiking, there's yoga classes, there's coffee shops, there's restaurants, there's all kinds of different things. So let's say you put a group of 40 people together and these 40 people want to hike up to arrive at the peaks of consciousness to reach the peaks of Mount Everest and then these 40 people start to the journey all equipped already and they're hiking up and you get to the first mesa you you've been walking for a day or two hiking climbing and you get to the first resting area and a few people say oh wow it's nice there's grass here you know i'm just going to this is good enough for me i'm just going to settle here 